guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a project pan update and this is my whole collection project pan and to be honest i'm not really excited to do this update because i don't really have any progress and i don't have an empty so i can't roll anything new in and uh, i'm sorry <laughs> i feel like a failure right now i know i'm not and i know i am getting use out of my collection and that is the point of project panning but I have talked to Emily um, in her update and I said I don't know if I'm going to do an update because I don't have any progress. And then she was really sad so I, I felt bad. <laughs> so this is for you Emily, I hope you enjoy it. Emily and Sarah are doing this kind of project as well. So I will have them linked down below and you should definitely check them out, they are lovely. And you should check out Alexandra that uh, this is inspired by. I need to get give alexandra credit because oh and becky oh my god she started this why am i not thinking becky loves kanga started this project and uh, so yeah becky and alexandra heavenly inspired me to do this i'm so sorry i brain fart i i, I don't know what happened <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have been here for almost three minutes and I haven't uh, said anything relevant this is a rolling project pan roulette kind of style and you randomize your whole collection that you have put into an excel sheet and then you pick random products to pan so i got a few lip products some um, eyeshadow and a blush and uh, stuff like that so um I, I got hard items my intention is always to finish my items so that is why i had high goals for myself in this project i don't know if i'm going to change them but i'm really enjoying the products that i have here and I am using them almost every single time I do apply makeup. Um, yeah, let's start off with some eyeshadows, shall we? The product that I have used the most after the blush is my Paulina palette by Blush Tribe, and this was a limited edition that she did over Christmas and in January. I have been enjoying this so much, but I have found that these shadows, oh this shadow that i have only used uh, in particular is best when you have a sticky base i have tried to use this purple shade that i have chosen for this project uh, on top of a set base and it just blended away and got muddy and stuff like that so um yeah today i have it in my outer corner on a sticky base so that is why it is very purple and I definitely think that was uh, the intention with the palette as well. Shadows just perform way better on a sticky base. Yeah, I have a dip forming and I'm really excited about it. And I almost don't want to use it anymore because it's, it's, it's almost brand new. But I'm so excited to use this every single day. Let's just take some eyeshadows that I have in my smaller C palette that I chose for this project. The only one that I have some kind of progress on is the white shadow. The, the cover face one from Maybelline, eh, not so much. So, I got this Maybelline shadow in cover face. It had a lot of pan and I have uh, tried to work on this side right here so I can hit side pan maybe. I don't know how that is going. <laughs> I haven't used it very much. Uh, but I think I'm going to use it more because I'm try I will try to focus on some green shades this month. And I think this shadow is going to uh, go a lot better with a green and yellow and stuff and orange than pink. <laughs> and then I chose this shadow right here it is from catrice it is a single shadow called eyes wide open and i definitely have some uh, very nice progress on that one um i have not used it a ton but i have used it so you can see some progress i usually use it on my brow bone and you know that area is not very big uh, today for example that's not much Then we have the blush that I have picked. It is my the Bone Fred Boy, and nope, 
no pan but i have used it so much i have it on my cheeks today i love this color so much and i have tried to go in a little bit more heavy with my brush so i maybe can have some pan soon yeah i have a dip i can feel the dip uh, yeah that is the color if you don't know let me see if i can find the uh, dip i don't think i can it's very very minimal the dip but if you know the rumor of uh, the bone blushes they take forever to hit pan on or and finish but i don't mind with this blush because it's so so nice i want to hit pan on it so uh, because i want to use other blushes as well This you can't see progress on. This is my NYX Vivid. <laughs> this is my NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in Ultra Violet. No, Vivid Violet. I have been enjoying this so much. I am so excited about it. I have just really, really enjoyed it, and I have experienced some fallout with this eyeliner that it will crumble if you put on a too thick layer yeah um i could just peel off my eyeliner basically and it was a mess but it was kind of funny to be honest then i did this pink look recently uh, where i use this eyeliner so yeah and otherwise i just do a classic wing with this eyeliner and i really really like that and it was very nice when i was going to pan the uh, purple shadow in the paulina palette and a pink one for my pamela palette so i have no regrets about that i'm going to do the green shadow so i don't know how that is going to look with that uh, kind of color combination but maybe i can use this with the more uh, neutral looks that looks very nice as well so it's okay this is a lip gloss it is a matte lip gloss from w7 it is called metal pout so it is this burgundy beautiful plummy shade it's, it's really beautiful can you see the windows i have used it a few times so uh, you can see the windows which is really really exciting i haven't used it a lot i would say but i have uh, used this more than the two other products that i have in this project the last four items i have in this project because i chose 10 i did i don't think i said that but uh, i have them on my paper let's just talk about this paper as you can see two of them have progress and two of them have not i'm just going to show you the two things that don't have any progress even though i have used them this one i have used the most it is the w7 hologram 3d eyeshadow stick i have been using this a lot in my inner corners i don't have it on in my inner corners today but i have it on my eyelid i don't know if you can see some kind of glitter i hope you can see some kind of glitter that is uh, this eyeshadow stick it is in a pink color but i don't think uh, the glitter comes across as a pink sometimes this is a tricky product because i have used it here can you see it's more slanted on this side and that is me using it and um, again this is a tricky product because it's loose firstly uh, so you can't be hard with it but you can't put any shadows on top and you can't put shadows underneath it works really great on a set base for example foundation or concealer it works great at that one but on, t on shadows it is patchy so that sucks and the one i don't have any progress on but i have used a few times i had it on in a video it is w7 <coughs> metallic mattes uh, lipstick in neptune this one right here no progress but I am using it a few times a month. The other two items I is the one I have progress on. The first one is my W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. Can I use it for my brows? That would be a good way to use it as well as a, a base and then put in some powder maybe and then set it with a brow gel. Hmm. Because um, I don't like it as a lip primer, but that is the way I have used it. I have a lot left but i have a lot of progress i think if you think about i haven't used it much this is the progress died down because it is a kind of patchy and sometimes the lipstick on top can be patchy when you use it i don't know if that is the thing with lip primers but i don't think that is workable so 
The next lipstick is the one that I just put on and it is from e.l.f. It is, and this is in Fairy Fuchsia. I have this little knob left, which is really exciting, but I am not using it enough. I have used it a bunch and I'm excited about that progress, actually. I really love the color and it's a more warmer toned uh, peachy coal nude color. <laughs> I think it goes well with this eye look I have going on. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see my intro, it will be linked down below. Check out the four lovely ladies that I talked about in the beginning. You will not regret checking them out. They are amazing. I love them so much. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below as I just said. And until my next video, please take care. Bye.